Let's talk about the geology of rubies. Rubies are a variety of corundum, an aluminum oxide that contains chromium. Chromium is what gives it its famous red coloring that we see in rubies. In fact, the more chromium present in the stone, the deeper the red and the more valuable it is. Other varieties of corundum are sapphires. So when it's red, we call it a ruby. When it's blue, yellow, pink, or any other color, we call it a sapphire. Ruby is also considered to be a precious stone. Rubies are a crystalline form of aluminum oxide that carries mostly in metamorphic rocks like schist and gneissus, but they also come in the form of igneous rocks like basalt. The highest quality pieces, however, form in marble. Marble forms when the heat and the pressure from inside the Earth's crust come into contact with limestone deposits when mountains are forming. The low iron content in the marble allows it to produce rubies with the intense color and can be also produce fluorescent rubies as well. Rubies can take between 20 to 30 million years to form, and they're rarely mined from their host rocks because they can easily be damaged this way. Rubies are resistant to weathering by wind and water, so the places where it's mined, natural weathering and erosion over a long period of time have ended up removing these rubies from the host rock. They are carried downstream where sediments is shifted through and to find the rubies. On a most scale of mineral hardness, ruby grades at a nine, which means it can scratch any mineral besides diamond and moissanite. Rubies are found in areas all over the world, with some of the most famous rubies coming from Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and Thailand. They can also be found in Russia, India, Africa, Afghanistan, Cambodia, Kenya, Laos, Madagascar, Malawi, Mozambique, Pakistan, Tanzania, and Vietnam.